All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Fengus Font Factory mod, which is being made by, of course, forum user Fengus, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a beautiful collection of letters and numbers for you to basically spell out whatever you want on your ships, and I really like this mod, so let's jump right on into the space plane hangar and have a look at what we get. Now, uh, we have looked at the past at a couple of other mods that add in things like decals that you can customize into the game, but the problem I've always had with them is they were image files. So if you wanted something special, you had to go into Photoshop to then make it. But what if you just want to quickly spell out the name of your ship or have a ascending iteration of numbers for ships? That becomes more of a pain until if we head down to the utility tab, you have this mod where we have all the characters you need to spell out what you want. We have the numbers zero through nine and the letters A to Z. And with these, well, you, yeah, spell what you need. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I really like this tool. Now I should point out before we go further, this is still a work in progress, so there are some funky things to it, but all in all, it's still a very great usable mod in its current state. Now I'm just gonna pop on the zero here as, uh, well, frankly, we don't really need to look at all of these individual ones. Again, it's zero to nine and A to Z. I kind of assume you all know what letters and numbers are. So we're just going to take a look at how we can control these and customize them. Because, well, even though we are stuck with the font, we can change some other things. Such as, if I right click on the context menu here, the size and the color. But before we do, I do want to point out something here. If we do highlight it, you can see through our command module here that, uh, it is actually a 3D part. These are not 2D decals. They are three-dimensional things. So they can act a little bit strange sometimes in just how they look, especially on curved surfaces. But you'll notice at the default size of one, they fit quite flush with any flat surfaces. There is a very, very slight indentation, but it's, uh, it's not much. That is until you change the size. And if we actually go smaller, you'll notice it kind of disappears. It's still there. As you can see, we now have a very tiny, tiny zero, but because the size has been made smaller, it's no longer flush with the surface. Now, of course, you can use the move tool and adjust that to bring it back out. But if we uh, just leave it there, of course, it's kind of inside the ship. So you do have to plan ahead with the move tool if you are gonna make these letters smaller. Now, if we go the other way and make it bigger, well, we can just kinda keep going all the way to size 20, which is the max, and ooh, that's a very, very big zero, which is wonderful. And we have basically the reverse problem. Now it's not hidden inside of the part, it's freaking gigantic and way outside of it. If we actually bring it down to a much more reasonable size, you can see that it is still coming out from the flat surface of the part. Once more, that can of course be adjusted with the move tool, so it's not the biggest problem in the world, but that is just something to keep in mind with this mod. You will have to do a bit of planning as to how you are going to place your characters. Now besides the size, we only have one other option, and that is the texture. And we don't have a huge variety of colors here, but we do of course have black, white, copper, and then we have two user-defined colors. Now, these are the defaults that the mod comes with, this uh, blue and this kind of radioactive green, but what you can do is change these in the mod folder to whatever it is that you like. So we don't have a huge selection of colors here, but with the 
ability to customize these, it is still nice that you can make it your own. Now, hopefully we'll get more colors in the future and uh, who knows, maybe even some interesting textures possibly, as uh, these are actually texture files that you create. They're uh, 512 by 512 images of just that solid color. So yeah, theoretically, you could texture them with something interesting if you so desire. But uh, yeah, that's really our only options. We have the size and color, and you then use it to spell out whatever in the world you like. And that, that's a good thing. And I didn't even really plan that. I just inadvertently spelled dog with a zero. That's wonderful. So let's actually leave and go to a billboard that I created with this uh, a little while ago. That's on the runway. So our Fengus Font Factory, technically, I guess, probe. Which is, wait for it, wait for it, a Kotobos Games billboard. <laughs> I had way too much fun making this. And also wanted to show off that technically you also don't have to stick with just letters. Some of these odd fonted characters you can use for other things. I use the uh, L, si or no, that was the I, sideways to make a line, and then I use two L's, that's why I was kind of reversed there, to make these little end brackets. And that's just one of the possibilities of things you could do with this particular mod. And I, I quite like that. It, it gives you some fun possibilities to play with the names of your ships and your missions. And hey, maybe put your own billboards on the moon for advertising your space program. It's just a a fun little addition to the game. Now, of course, if you're on a slower computer, this could be problematic as it is adding in new parts. And I mean, this billboard is way more parts than you'd probably want it to be. But if you're on a faster computer, this really shouldn't be an issue at all. But yeah, do keep in mind, these are individual things adding to your part count. But all in all, I really enjoy this mod. It's fun to be able to just basically type out whatever you want, granted by hand, but still, it's quite cool. So if you'd like to check it out for yourself, I definitely recommend to take a look at it so you can have a gander at the link in the description as usual. But that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now I have a, a desire to destroy this thing. Release! Wow, that, huh, that stayed together actually quite well. <laughs> All right, later, folks.